Although it's not the speediest, least expensive, nor the mesh router with the longest range available, the Google Nest Wi-Fi Pro utilizes cutting edge technology to provide comprehensive home data coverage for your entire home. It's an ideal choice for those new to an upgraded Wi-Fi setup that isn't the typical router given to you by your standard internet companies. With an effortless setup process and decent, albeit not exceptional throughput, However, the Nest Wi-Fi Pro is more than just a router. It comes with a matter border router built in, allowing it to work with the latest smart home standard. It's on the come up and in a matter of years, I anticipate matter just to be the standard. This feature transforms the device from a mere data distributor to a smart home hub that can control connected devices such as lights, locks, and your thermostat. The Nest Wi-Fi Pro is extremely versatile and with its super easy setup process, it makes it a stellar candidate for your home's Wi-Fi needs, offering a range of capabilities that can enhance the smart home experience. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at this enhanced version of Google's Nest Wi-Fi product lineup, as well as go over a quick unboxing, setup, and my honest thoughts about this mesh Wi-Fi router kit. So without further ado, ladies and gents, let's get right into the action. All right, all right, ladies and gents, so here we have it. Now, as you'll probably notice, yes, this is a two pack and it comes in with an MSRP of 299 USD. However, you can purchase the Nest Wi-Fi Pro with just a singular unit for 199 or for the most bang for your buck, you can opt for a three pack for $399 in the event you have a home with a larger square footage. And also it comes in your choice of four subtle yet very interesting colors. You of course have snow, which is what we have here, linen, fog, and lemongrass. Personally, I was in between fog or snow, but I figured snow would just blend better with my furniture. But anyway, back to the box. It's very simplistic, which is very much like Google. We see Nest Wi-Fi Pro branding along with our two ovalish white routers. On the right hand side is some text that lets you know that the Google Nest Wi-Fi Pro can blanket your home with super fast and reliable Wi-Fi coverage up to 4,400 square feet with speeds up to 5.4 gigabytes per second. On the left is more hype about what Wi-Fi 6E is and its potential. On the bottom are your technical specifications, along with serial number information, and finally, we have an image on the back of the Nest Pro just Jay chilling in someone's living room with the text, The Better Way to Wi-Fi. Now sadly, there is no pull tab to assist with this unboxing, so what you'll have to do is get your trusty unboxing pair of scissors, or really whatever you have nearby, remove the protective plastic, open up the box, and first thing you'll be presented with is the two Google Wi-Fi routers. And as you can see from my studio lighting, they are very, very reflective, almost glossy in nature. Up top, nestled in this little pouch is your warranty and information guide, as well as a quick start guide. But no worries, we're gonna cover the setup process here in just a couple minutes. So here they are. They're somewhat palmable, not too big, and pretty lightweight, but chances are you'll rarely ever be handling them anyway. Oh, and there's a rubber foot on the bottom to help with stabilization so that your routers don't slide off your table or furniture. Here at the bottom is a small compartment that houses our power cords, which here we get two for our two routers, in case you couldn't guess. But we only have one 6.5 foot Ethernet cable, and this sucker is crucial to hook up to your internet modem to establish your Google's Wi-Fi mesh network. And that's about it, folks. That's all you get when you buy Google's newest Nest Wi-Fi Pro. All right, now once you have it unboxed, you're gonna wanna set it up. And thankfully, Google provides very clear and concise directions. I feel strongly even my grandma could follow the prompts. So even if you are nowhere close to being well-versed in technology, Google's Nest Wi-Fi Pro is super straightforward to get rocking and rolling. So allow me to demonstrate, but first, what you'll wanna do is download Google's Home Map if you haven't already. This is where you'll find most of your home automation across a broad range of devices within the Google family. So once you fire up the app, it'll say something like welcome home and there should be a get started button, so click that. Then it'll ask you to log into your Google account. If you don't have one yet, this is where you'll be able to create one. It's free and you can customize your privacy settings later on. Now on the next screen, it'll ask you what home you would like to set up this device on. If this is your first time on Google Home, then simply click create a new home. 
But anyway, you'll create a nickname for the home, then it'll ask for your address, and its intended use is for better GPS tracking and for stuff like weather and directions. But you can skip this if you don't feel like providing that. Okay, so give it a few minutes and your home should be created. So from here, like as you can see, it'll already have suggestions. Luckily for me, it says set up Nest Wi-Fi router, or you can click the plus sign at the top left and then choose the home where you'll be setting up the device. Okay, now at this point, it'll search for a device. So you may have realized that you haven't even plugged it in, right? I know I made that mistake as well, common mistake. So plug it in and give it a minute or two to start up for the very first time. Now, if you have a two or a three pack, it does not matter which one will be your main Wi-Fi point. The other nest will essentially become your mesh Wi-Fi points to connect with the union of all of your Wi-Fi points. More about how Google's mesh networks work later on. Okay, so once you search for devices again, it should pick it up and recognize it. Then it'll ask you to accept camera permissions to scan the QR code that's located at the base of your router. So scan that and the next screen will say something like Google Home wants to join the Wi-Fi network and then a random string of characters that identifies each individual router. At this point, it may take up to five minutes to establish the Wi-Fi connection. But once it successfully does that, type in a unique password for your Wi-Fi network of your choosing. Make it something funny if you want to, so then that way whenever you have guests over, they'll have to type that funny phrase in. Next, agree to some terms and conditions and now choose the room the Nest Wi-Fi main router will be placed in. In my case, it's in my bedroom. Next, you can create a name for a custom room. So if you have a guest room or something, you can name it that. It might check for updates, but after all this, it'll say creating your Wi-Fi network. Now, this is the part that will probably take the longest. So go grab a snack, go for a brisk 10 minute walk or something. And if all goes well, you'll come back and it'll then say that Google Home wants to now join the network you just created. So instead of that random string of letters and numbers, it should say whatever you typed in. In my case, it now says studio. So now it'll try to connect again. And finally, you know you did this correctly if after a couple of minutes, it says connected. Nice work. Now, if you simply bought a singular Nest Wi-Fi point, you can skip to the next part of the video, but I assume it knows if you have a two or a three pack based off the serial numbers. But either way, you'll want to select yes so that you can create your mesh network. Basically, you'll have two or three different points, which are the different routers, communicating with each other, creating a sort of a Wi-Fi blanket that is much speedier and more reliable than your standard Wi-Fi extender. So now, you don't want to set the two points too far apart. Google recommends them being no more than two rooms or walls apart for best performance. And so the setup for this is very much similar to the initial point you set up, so I don't want to repeat myself. But if you follow the prompts and if you did this correctly, at the end, the app will want to perform a mess test for you to see if the network was binded together successfully. And so it should hopefully tell you that your mesh connection is good. And boom, there you go. You successfully set up your Nest Wi-Fi mesh network. So then you're free to explore the app and look at the few customization options you have for your mesh network. I mean, it's a really straightforward device, so there's not much you can do from within the app. You can reset your network, factory reset it, and if the light bothers you, you can dim the light or turn it off completely. And by the way, a solid white light means your Wi-Fi connection is up and running smoothly. A pulsing white light can indicate that the network has an update currently running. The slow pulsing blue light is for when you initially are pairing the device. And by the way, you might see it on video blinking or alternating from white to blue, but it's just the lens on my camera that's doing it. So it should remain solid and and white whenever you're online and a Wi-Fi mesh connection is active. A blinking amber or yellow light means there's a network error. So you might want to check your Google Home app to remedy the problem. And if you get the dreaded red blinking light of death, this means there's a critical failure. You'll want to try to factory reset the router. And if the light stays red, contact Wi-Fi customer support. But all right, what gives? What's a mesh network anyway? And why is it better than a simple Wi-Fi extender? So basically, a mesh network is like having multiple access points throughout your house that work together to give you better internet coverage. Unlike a simple Wi-Fi extender, which just repeats the signal from your main router, a mesh network intelligently routes your traffic through the strongest connection available so that you always have the best possible internet speed and coverage. 
and the best part is with a mesh network you don't need to be a tech whiz to set it up and get seamless internet coverage throughout your entire home so finally here are just a few of the features i love about google's all new nest wi-fi pro setup first off it supports wi-fi 6e meaning it supports the latest Wi-Fi 6E standard, which provides faster speeds, lower latency, and increased capacity for more devices. It also features eight stream Wi-Fi. The router has eight internal antennas, which means it can transmit and receive data on eight different streams, allowing for faster speeds and better coverage. The router also receives automatic software updates, so you don't have to worry about keeping it up to date with the latest security patches and features. Another nifty feature, parental controls. There are built-in parental controls allowing you to restrict access to certain websites and apps and set limits on screen time for your children. It also has voice control support so that the router is compatible with Google Assistant so that you can control your Wi-Fi network with just your voice. Overall, the Google Nest Wi-Fi 6E router is a powerful and easy to use device that provides fast and reliable Wi-Fi coverage for your entire home with advanced features to help you manage your network and keep your family safe online. I always am really impressed with Google's broad range of products and you always know you get an exceptional product with lots of Google software integration that makes everything blend together so seamlessly. Like I mentioned earlier, I have Google standard Google Wi-Fi mesh network set up at my mom's, but now I wanted the same speedy blanket of reliable Wi-Fi right here in the studio, and I'm sure this Pro model will work wonders for me. If you have a medium to large sized home, this is quite possibly one of the best solutions to cover your entire home in consistent and reliable Wi-Fi coverage. But I do wanna hear you guys' thoughts. Have any of y'all ever tried Google's Nest routers? If so, drop your comments down below. Follow me over on my socials as I am currently hosting an Apple Watch Band giveaway. So if you want to be a part of that, definitely give me a follow. And with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing and setup of Google's Nest router in a two-pack. This product is a strong recommend for me given its simplistic setup process and reliability. Click my affiliate links down below as sometimes their prices get slashed and occasionally go on sale. So why not save a few bucks when purchasing this mesh network? Anyway, guys, looks like I'm clocking out for now. Don't forget to drink water, and I'll be catching you all real soon.